hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Cairo. This will be a pick a card reading. I like watching this wig swing. It's cool. My latest Party City wig. But before I get into the timeless tarot reading, who has a crush on you? I would like to discuss Dossier. I have The Fragrances by Dossier <clears throat> and the perfume that inspired these fragrances. So the two Dossier fragrances I will discuss are Fruity Jasmine and Floral Lavender. Okay, first, Fruity Jasmine, inspired by my all-time favorite perfume. You can tell I don't have much left in the bottle. This is my, I guess, signature scent. Christian Dior's Jador. This does smell a hell of a lot like the door. Okay. The notes are, top notes are mandarin, green leaves, sweet pea, middle notes, jasmine, yang, ylang, ylang, chimpaka, peach. The base notes, sandalwood, plum, musk. <clears throat> Quite good. To me, Fruity Jasmine and Jador are classic feminine scents. Um, I feel classic. I feel classy when I'm wearing these fragrances. Now, Floral Lavender, which this one, I don't think it's an exact match. I'm not sure because... I never knew this until recently. Uh, there can be variations on the same scent. There can be, what do they call it, flankers? Okay, so this is um, YSL Libre Intense, but I think there's also just YSL Libre, which is not intense. This is inspired by YSL Libre. The floral lavender, <clears throat> the top notes are mandarin, neroli, black currant, the middle notes are jasmine, lavender, orange blossom, the base notes, vanilla, amber, musk. This is my second favorite perfume in my collection and my most recent purchase. Okay, the floral lavender. And I'll spray this on the paper. It smells a lot like the YSL Libre Intense. Very similar. Mm. Um, definitely more exotic than Jador. It's different. It's, um, I wouldn't call it a classic scent. I'm not sure what I'm smelling. The musk. I would say I'm probably smelling the musk and the black currant. It's different. It's unique. I wouldn't say it's classic. This is not a scent that I would wear every day, but I would wear it. Um, I would probably wear it at night. On a cruise ship singing karaoke. And I would wear this just to wear it. I would wear this to bed. I do that on occasion. You know, I'll take a hot bubble bath and then I'll slather myself with lotion. I'll do another video um, on layering. I have two all-time favorite lotions from Bath & Body Works, and I'll do a video on that because I'll be doing a dossier video 
for February, March, and April, two cents for each video. And the next one I'll be doing a layering, talking about layering. So yeah, sometimes I like to take a hot bath and I like to put on the lotion and then just spritz myself with fragrance and go to sleep and have sweet dreams. Here's the pick a card reading. Thank you. Who has a crush on you? This reading is timeless and for this reading there are four different options. Option one, Option two, option three, and claw throw, option four. As always, timestamps will be provided. Go ahead and make your selection. If you chose option one, here is your reading. <clears throat> I will now clear the throat chakra. Ah, ah, ah. Who has a crush on you? Father of Swords, that's really strong for a signifier to come out as the first card. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. I'll call out a possible astro combo for this person once all the cards are down. But that's interesting that the first three cards are all masculine. Air, fire. Siete de Copas, Seven of Cups, <clears throat> Ray de Bastos, King of Wands, El Mago, the Magician, Queen of Cups, Eight of Wands, the Moon, I feel like you and this person complement each other. I feel like they definitely have a lot more masculine energy and you're more feminine. King of Pentacles, Dandelion. Dandelion seeds can fly up to five miles from their place of origin. Queen of Wands, tomato, tomato. There are around 10,000 varieties of tomatoes worldwide. Wow, all these signifiers. Knight of Swords, bell pepper. All bell peppers start out green then turn yellow, orange, red, and purple as they ripen. I don't think I've ever seen a purple bell pepper. Okay. Well, for pile one, I would say there is a good chance that you get a lot of attention from a lot of people. You could have 
platform, you could be an influencer, you could have a YouTube channel, you could be a model, an actress. I feel like a lot of people admire you. A lot of people have a crush on you right now. But to just zero in on one person, perhaps the one person who has the most intense feelings for you, I would say they're definitely masculine, regardless of their gender. Um, a possible astral combo for this person who has a really intense crush on you. With Father of Swords is the first card and El Mago. They could have Sun in Gemini, Aries Rising, Moon in Sagittarius. One possibility of many. This person is an extrovert. <clears throat> this person is very sexual, very strong libido. This person is extremely direct. They are going to let you know what's up. Maybe this person has already slid into your DMs and Instagram, one example of many. They've already expressed to you that they have feelings or you've caught their eye. They find you very attractive. Um, <clears throat> but there's no guessing with this person. This person is not passive aggressive. This person is not shy. I can see them being on social media a lot. They probably have a pretty strong social media presence themselves. Um, I could see them on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Discord, WhatsApp. They could have a YouTube channel. <clears throat> they have this very manic, busy energy. This person's very sociable, very communicative. Uh, so there is a possibility for pile one that you and this person have already sexted. But again, I would say that you have more feminine energy and so you complement each other. You could have Sun and Pisces, Taurus rising, Moon and Libra. Just one possibility of many. Um, but I feel like for Pile 1, they've already expressed their feelings or their interests to you. There's not really a question mark here. This is not vague, half-ass, wishy-washy energy. This is very direct and assertive. So that is what I see for pile one. I hope that helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. the hamburger pile two here's your reading seven of wands mother of swords the tower so similar to pile one the first three cards are all masculine fire and air when I have all the cards down, I will call out a possible astral combo for this person who has a crush on you. chakra. It's tedious. Dose de Oros. Two of Pentacles. Let's pay de Bastos. Nine of Wands. Could be an age gap. Ray de Oros. King of Pentacles. You could have a child with this person.
maybe an X. Ace of Wands, King of Wands, the Empress, yes. If you chose Pile 2, there is a very strong possibility you have a child or children with this person. I feel like this is an ex. You were in a relationship. You were married. At the very least, you lived together for years. This is not really crush energy. I mean, this is not someone who's just noticing you on Instagram and saying, wow, that person's hot. And then they slide into the DMs. This is not that. This is not casual. Um, you definitely have history with this person. Six of Cups. This is someone who regards you as a soulmate. Three of Swords. It may have ended. Seven of Wands. That's interesting. It begins and ends with Seven of Wands. So there's resistance here. <clears throat> this relationship may have ended because of cheating. It may have turned into a third party. But I would say based on these cards, this person is still interested in you. So if that resonates at all, there is a chance the two of you will eventually reconcile. So a lot of masculine energy. <clears throat> this person could have Sun and Leo. Gemini rising. Moon and Aries. It's just one possibility. You could have Sun and Taurus, Leo rising, Moon and Cancer. But I feel like this is someone you know very well. I'm seeing an ex. Uh, and it's complicated with the two of you. I feel like you've been through a few cycles, a few phases. There have been times where you don't talk at all. Um, but if you have a child or children together, there is probably pretty consistent communication. You're raising a child or children together, maybe joint custody, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is not someone in the shadows who <clears throat> is trying to work up their courage to initiate communication with you. This is not someone who doesn't know you. This person knows you very well and they love you. Whatever the two of you have gone through, they still have tremendous love and desire for you. That is what I see for Pile 2. I hope that helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose the ice cream cone, vanilla ice cream, pile three, here's your reading. Who has a crush on you? The moon, the hermit. So right away we have the Pisces, Virgo axis, Pisces, Virgo, the magician, Gemini. That's interesting. So all three of these cards are mutable. Mutable energy, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini. Once I have all the cards down, I will call out a possible astro combo for this person. Penomas. El Juicio Final. Another mutable card. I mean, people read this card in different ways. I've seen all kinds of things on the judgment card. I see it as a Sagittarius card. So we have the mutable Grand Cross, all the mutable signs. I have a mutable Grand Cross tattoo because I have that in my natal chart. See it today, Espada, Seven of Swords. Different interpretations, but I do associate Seven of Swords with Gemini. Thrace de Bastos, Three of Wands. Three is the number of Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. So this person could have a lot of mutable energy in their
perinatal chart. Little moss. Nine of Wands, I associate Nine of Wands with Sagittarius. Judgment again. King of Cups. Pisces. Okay. And I've read somewhere or I've seen somewhere in some video, I think someone said that the Kings are always Cardinal. I don't know. Which would make that Cancer, but I take what I read and what I learn and I combine it all. I combine it with my intuition. And because we start with the moon card, which is Pisces, I see that as Pisces. But <clears throat> Four of Cups, I associate with Cancer. Five of Wands, Aries. Eight of Wands, Aries. Okay, so a possible astral combo for this person. They could have Sun and Pisces, Sagittarius, Rising, Moon, and Gemini. It's one possibility. Um, so Mercury is always in the same sign as your Sun or the sign before or after. So if this person has Sun and Pisces, they could have Mercury in Aries. This person is moody as hell. And they're very changeable because that's what mutable energy is. It's changeable, it's adaptable, it tends to be moody. Um, mood swings. Uh, sometimes this person just wants to be left the hell alone. I'm seeing a really intense introvert. And I'm seeing someone who has a lot of creative energy. They could be a musician, they could be an artist. They could be a writer. All three. I just started writing again last night. It had been a while. God, it felt good. And I'm always creating videos for my other channels, my channels that are not monetized, my small, my whatever channels, um, Law of Attraction, Subliminal. I've been doing a lot of affirmation videos lately. Sky Radio, Chupacabra Cinema, Ebulence Press, Yada, yada, yada. So this person is probably on a spiritual path of some kind. That's really strong to start off with the moon and the hermit, the Pisces Virgo axis. So they could meditate. They could have a formidable crystal collection. They could do tarot. Uh, they could do magic. They pay attention to the phases of the moon. Uh, timeless reading, but as I record this, we're at the beginning of Aquarius season. It's Today is Thursday, January 26, 2023. We're coming up on the full moon in Leo. Uh, so they light candles, sage, incense. Uh, they do affirmations. They're into law of attraction. Um, this person has at least a couple of tattoos. I have one, two, three, four, you can't see it, five. I've got five, I need to even it out and get another one, so I have six. I said if I graduated from UTSA, I would get my, um, I would get the quadratic formula tramp stamp because it was such a pain in the ass passing basic algebra. So maybe eventually when I've lost about 30 pounds, I'll get a quadratic formula tramp stamp. It's really classy. I don't care about classy. I like to express myself in a variety of ways. And this person is the same. They don't care about being classy or being cool. They're just naturally cool, like Kurt Cobain. They could do drugs. They could do plant medicine. I could see this person gnawing on some mushrooms, chewing on some edibles. I could see them smoking a bow. Uh, this person has a very unusual intelligence not the kind of intelligence that is good for running the matrix. Like this is not someone who's into stocks and bonds. They're not the president of some company. They have creative intelligence. They can just write a song or a poem like it's nothing. They can create art like it's nothing. 
I can identify with this. This really speaks to me. I have Mercury and Pisces. And I'm really good at creating stuff, but I'm not good at running the matrix. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they have these mood swings. Their communication with you, if there has been communication, it may be hot and cold. One day they're blowing up your phone, the next you send them a text or a message and they don't respond or it takes them a while to respond. Um, this is the kind of person who likes to have spiritual sex. So they're not into the whole hit it and quit it, casual, uh, swipe left, swipe right on Tinder. No, this is not that person. That is not this person. They want to read you a poem and then fuck you. And then write a poem about the experience. They want to send you playlists. They want to write songs about you. You could be amused to this person. Uh, Patty Boyd, Pisces, was a muse, muse to George Harrison, Pisces. She was the inspiration for perhaps his most famous song with the Beatles, something. She was also the muse for Eric Clapton, Layla, and You Look Wonderful Tonight. So you could have a lot of Pisces in your chart. Um, but yeah, that's what's up with pile three. This person is into you, but they're also into themselves, and they're into a lot of things. They always have a lot of things going on energetically. It may not seem that way in the 3D, but in the 5D with this person, something's always popping. So that's what I see. That's what I have. I hope that helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. You chose Quattro, Pile 4, Sandwich. Who has a crush on you? Eight of Wands, call that the sex card. Strength. Seven of Cups. When I have all the cards down, I will call out a possible astro combo for this person. <clears throat> oh, fuck, are you kidding me with that shit? I gotta clean this floor. I gotta sweep and spill the lavender fabuloso on the floor in the kitchen. It's gross. I'm trying to sell a house here. I can move on down the road. Ha, the sex card again. Ocho de pastos. I got it bad, got it bad, got it bad. I'm hot for teacher. I don't know why I'm hearing hot for teacher by Van Halen. Cuatro de pastos, four of wands. Well, this person's really hot for you. You may or may not be this person's teacher, but they're really hot for you. There's a lot of lust. Toys the cup with three cups. They want to get together as soon as possible and work it on out. Work it on out. Knight of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. And Ten of Cups, two marriage cards. So there is a chance, there's a possibility, if you chose Pile 4, you and this person are going to marry each other eventually. Maybe you're already engaged. Nine of Cups, turmeric, can help with depression, blood sugar levels, and liver detoxification. Detoxification. I'm all about the syllables, six syllables. King of Cups, buckwheat. Despite the name, buckwheat is a fruit seed, not a wheat. Ten of Swords, oyster. I need to do a deep dive on this. I said that in the pick a card I did last night. This is fascinating to me. This mushroom can eat wood, 
paper, coffee grounds, nematodes, and even petroleum. Well, hell, don't stop there. I mean, that's really specific, the things that this mushroom eats. A mushroom that eats an, omnim the, the, an omnivorous mushroom. Ah, that's so cool. Okay, so it's like I say a lot. I've been saying it a lot lately at this channel. Uh, you could be watching this, waiting for your panties to dry, waiting for your brownies to bake, waiting for your bus, waiting for your train, waiting for your plane. Because I feel like for Pile 4, a lot of you, usual caveat, global audience, I'm reading for a global audience, it's a pick a card reading at YouTube. I feel like a lot of you are currently in a really intense relationship with this person. This is not someone who's just watching you on Instagram thinking, wow, I like that person. I think I have a crush on that person. Maybe I'll take a risk and slide into the DMs. The risk has already been taken because you're in a relationship. It's your story or it isn't. So a possible astro combo for this person, this person you're in a relationship with, they could have Sun and Aries, Gemini rising, Moon and Pisces. It's just one possibility. You could have Sun and Leo, Aries rising, Moon and Capricorn. Just calling out possibilities here because I'm obsessed with astrology. And you may have gone through cycles with this person. At some point in this connection, you may have thrown your hands up in the air and said, that's it, I'm done, I can't dance to this. You walked away, you took your football and you went home. Or vice versa, they took their football and went home. But then you reconnected, you reunited. Reunited and it feels so good. And so you're together now and it's just solid fucking gold. Uh, your best friends, your partners, you could have a business together. Maybe you've created an empire together. You've got a child or children together or children on the way, babies on the way. Maybe you're currently pregnant with triplets. Um, but I see an empire, I see family, I see a whole life. You're committing to each other. You're both prioritizing this relationship, so it's gold, it's good. This is a relationship that's going to last. If you and this person are married or you're planning on getting married, this is the kind of marriage that's going to last because you're aligned, you're on the same page, you have the same values, you see the world in a similar way. This is not just sexual interest, although the sex is really good to have eight of wands twice like that with the nine of cups, no less. So the sex is amazing. You're into each other spiritually, mentally, emotionally. There's emotional intimacy, orgasms all around. So congratulations if that is your story. If it's not your story and you want it to be your story, you can make it your story. Law of Attraction is all about taking energy and making it your bitch. So, yeah. That's what I see for Pile 4. You probably have mental telepathy and you've probably been together in previous incarnations. And that does conclude this pick a card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.